What's up? How y'all doing? It's Jared. It's a Max Ace Pelican. This is a sick knife, right? It feels different than I know that it should, right? Because it feels fast. It wants to flip fast. That's just due to the fact, if I can actually flip the damn thing, it's just due to the fact that, you know what I mean, it's on ball bearings. It is a relatively light knife. The channel construction kind of brings the weight out through the handles a little bit more. You know what I mean? It's got a little bit more tapering and weight through the overall design. And so it does lend itself to being quick. You know what I mean? Actually quick in manipulation, especially with those ball bearings and Max Ace's quality control, which is kind of out of this world. I get further down into that. But it really leads this thing to, if I can... Man, it really just leads this thing to having no friction. You know what I mean? There's no resistance anywhere in the flipping of this knife. That's really the, the one thing that comes across to me. It's just fun. You know what I mean? It's a lot of fun to flip. The overall knife is beautiful. There's just a, a lot that goes into this design. But it it has, honestly, I think it has a bit of a handle bias. I really want to say that. The balance point's a little bit further back from the pivot. It's almost a full inch back from the actual pivot itself. And so it's, and with as light of a blade as it is, with the blade style that it has, with, you know what I mean, with as little of material is actually here, as little of titanium is actually here, a lot of the girth from the handles and that you feel in your hand when you're actually flipping this thing around comes from the carbon fiber. You know what I mean? Those carbon fiber inlays, right? Is actually where a lot of that just directional stability in the spin control comes from, right? If I can actually, yeah. See, I can't get this thing to fan, there we go, right? I can feel it, right? I can feel the roundness uh, in of my hand in that carbon fiber, right? If I can keep this thing going. It's not the easiest thing to fan. And again, it has to do with just the discrepancy in weight, right? There is a large discrepancy between the actual handle itself and the blade but it doesn't feel like that. It feels like a more neutrally balanced knife. It actually feels kind of in hand, almost blade heavy, especially when I'm doing something like, if I'm doing something like a twirl and then spinning it around my finger like that, it really feels, it almost feels like the you know, that EOS serpent, you know what I mean? It feels more like there's more towards the back end, or there's less towards the back end of the handle than there actually is. Because a lot of knives that swing, right, that arc, I can feel the actual motion, I can feel the momentum and the weight of that knife actually swinging its way around, right? It's most evident in a lot of BRS products, right? This is a BRS replicant, and I can feel that. I can feel the swing, I can feel the motion of that handle, right? It's not the same with, you know, you come to something more neutral, again, I mentioned the EOS Serpent, right? And this thing it doesn't have that same swing to it. It's got all the momentum, it's got all of the travel there, but it just doesn't have that same, it's almost like a clock, right? The pendulum effect. This knife is kind of lacking that, you know what I mean? It, which could be good, you know what I mean? That's not necessarily a bad thing, because if you are intending to do a lot of switch overs, or switch, switching, if you're intending to do a lot of ricochets, things like that, that lighter impact will actually be a good thing, you know what I mean? It could come in handy especially with some more technical based flippers. You mean people who are a lot better than me moving these knives in, in ways that are just, you know, getting them to do crazy stuff in midair, being able to stop and move that weight around the other direction without having that amount of momentum built up can be a good thing. But at the same time, if you are looking for that momentum, if you're actually wanting to get more of a flip in, you know what I mean? The $500 price tag on this knife is fully justified for the overall specs, the quality of the material that you actually get. It is totally worth the money. But as far as a flipper goes, it doesn't, I can't say that it doesn't match that $500 price point because it does, but you have to have that specific desire for this flipping. You know what I mean, for the way that this thing feels because it doesn't have it's not better than everything else. You know what I mean? This isn't a better flipper, you know, just because of its price tag, because of its quality, because of the materials that are actually in it, you know, it's not necessarily to that level of a flipper, but it is definitely to that level of knife. You know what I mean? It's definitely to that level of overall quality of construction and materials. And it just moves quickly. It really does just want to move fast. You know what I mean? I can do a lot of ricochets, just basic openings, you know what I mean? And it just, it moves quickly. I definitely like it. You, I carry this thing around in the house quite a bit. I haven't carried it as much in public, you know what I mean, actually on my person. 
but I do like carrying it in the sheath. You can, get it, you can actually see that there. I do like the way that this sheath operates. There's not a whole lot of room here. I mean, you can't see it too much. It does conceal nicely. It's in an excellent position. I can get it out and actually flip it. Yeah, stressful situations. Probably why you don't want to rely on a belly song, but at the same time, I definitely, I mean, who doesn't want to carry a belly song? If you're a flipper, you definitely want to carry these things around. But I can't argue that it does take a little bit more to get it out. However, I freaking love this knife. This is one of my favorite knives. And I know the overall just design of the knife has a lot to do with that. But at the same time, I do truly enjoy the way that this thing flips. The way that it flips around and moves through the air, I truly do enjoy this thing. Max Ace Pelican. Yeah, let me bring it down onto the table. All right, so what is this thing about, really? Realistically, it's that. It's all about that spine. Look at that spine. It is so sick. I freaking love the way that this knife was designed. It is a flow-through construction. Well, it's not flow-through, I guess, but you can see that you can actually see through the holes there. They're, they're matched up. So when the handles actually come together in the open position like this, you can see all the way through those holes. I love this, just the effect that this has. You can see that the milling actually, right? The, the finishing on the inside of the channel, the bottom of the channel there is a little bit rough. There's still a little bit of milling marks on this side. And that's not the case with this side here. The ex Yeah, excuse me. The, you can see it's just look at the amount of crap and gunk that gathers up in there. That's one of the negatives to a channel ballet song. But I mean, you can see that there's that's the only imperfection that I can actually find over this entire knife. The blade, the, either any of the handles, any of the damage that you see on here, any of those dents and dings I've done that's from me, it didn't come out of the box like that. The carbon fiber is actually raised up. This is kind of a lazy way, honestly, to do an inlet. You know what I mean? Because you don't have to match it. There's no perfection. There's no, you know, mating of the actual materials themselves. Excuse me. If this was a folding knife with this kind of inlay, you know what I mean? This the carbon fiber inlay. This is a Protec half breed right here, California Legal Automatic. But if this had, you know what I mean? If if I got a folding knife with this same kind of inlay, this came, came kind of raised inlay, it better incorporate itself into the design as well as this, because with this here, it's not a knock on the design. It's actually seriously a positive. But you can see the amount of girth, the amount of width that that actually gives, right? The the just the, 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 excuse me, that carbon fiber actually coming off of those scales and being fat like that, being actually raised up makes this handle almost feel rounded because it is very square. It's a very square handle all the way down here, you can see. And so it is, does, it's just got that little bit of roundness to it. It's got that little bit of extra grip. There's the texture on there, which does definitely does add in the purchase. I've got enough grip on this thing. There's grip all over this thing. You've got the directional stability up here on the sides from that carbon fiber. There's a little bit of jimping on the back, which doesn't really aid in actually working with this thing. I don't really think that that's going to give me any, any stoppage protection as far as actually slipping up onto the blade of this thing. If I'm digging into something, I'm doing any really hard work, but it's nice for flipping. You know what I mean? It does actually aid in that. It gives me just that little bit of, little bit of stability and actually control when I'm flipping this thing around. So I definitely like the design of the handles in manipulation as well as just the aesthetic. There is so much work that went into the milling of each one of these handles. It is just ridiculous. Yeah, I definitely appreciate it. I like the way that Max Ace does, you know, the Midnight Cat knives. A lot of the Midnight Cat knives narrowed down, right? This actually narrows down a little bit more than others. Here's the Pentrell that this thing actually just came out recently. And you can see it's got that same little swell. It's a re reduction, I guess. It's got that same little reduction in the handle. As well as the... What is this thing? The Banshee. The Banshee actually only has it on the interior. You can see that little bit of sh little bit of shelf right there. It's not on the actually on the closed, but you can feel that when you're flipping. When you're actually on the handle doing any sort of twirl, something like that. I'm not going to do a twirl on the bite handle, but you know what I mean. If I'm actually on the it flat, you know what I mean? It's actually, it's much wider in this direction here than it actually is here. And so being, being on the side, being on the side of the knife, actually twirling it, spinning it around your hand, like, you know, in doing an eight ball or whatever, doing a helix, whatever it is, having that large flat section, that's actually a little bit thinner. I really like, you know, I've actually 
kind of kind of grown fond of it. It, it. It's a little bit strange. I mean, it doesn't take any getting used to. It's not like it's 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 different. You know, every knife, every ballet song takes a little bit of getting used to. It's one of the reasons they're so excellent. But it does. That's definitely a thing. You know what I mean? It is actually functional. It you definitely I definitely do notice that when I'm manipulating this knife. The inlays on the blade, however, you notice it's got carbon fiber inlays on the blade as well. Those are flush mounted. Those are perfectly flush with the actual handle. It's got fingerprints all over the damn thing. But they're actually really well done. They're not perfectly finished, as you can see. They're just not consistent. You know what I mean? There's a little bit of a difference in the design, the pattern of the carbon fiber from side to side but they're excellently inlaid I can't feel any any transition with my fingernail I can't get down there I can actually feel the difference in materials but this does a couple things because it aids in aesthetic you know what I mean it, it gives me pleasure in the fact that my freaking ballet song has carbon fiber inlays on the blade it's got six separate carbon fiber inlays on the blade how ridiculous is that plus the fact that it's m390 which is on the end of the tang here which is actually on that little tang hang horn there i think that's really dope but as well it lightens the blade right this is the equivalent of having a fuller because they've removed a lot of steel there's a lot of material actually taken out of this blade bring up the tachyon 3 here right there's a lot of weight savings here there's a lot of material taken out of the channel of this knife right and it aids in the overall balance because you've got the aluminum handles with the you know the thick blade it's a decently thick blade stock if that fuller wasn't there this blade it would just be way too blade heavy it already is arguably a little bit blade heavy but it would just it would affect it you know what I mean it would actually affect the balance of the knife and it's the same thing with this knife here I have a feeling because of the way that these handles are designed there the amount of material that has actually been removed there's a lot of material to hold they're still decently fat in size but there is so much taken actually taken off of this thing that the reduction in weight of the blade having those carbon fiber inlays actually have you know replacing the steel i guess is a major positive in manipulation as well as actual use because when i'm cutting through something if i'm cutting through something like an apple cheese whatever it is with something like this you know with a fuller it gets stuck in there if you're cutting through cardboard the end of the cardboard will snag it you know what i mean and things will get snuck things will get st stuck and snagged because you can imagine there's a little 90 degree shelf right there on the edge of your blade and whatever you're cutting through you're cutting through it right and so there's tension wrapped around the blade it's squeezing that blade and so it's being buried into that fuller you get a lot of resistance from a fuller design like this it's not necessarily the best thing for actual overall cutting performance this however negates that because you get the reduction in overall weight you get the aesthetics and as well you it works like a flat grind not a full flat grind mind you but it works like the actual knife is flat you don't get that resistance you don't get that buildup of crap and material in the overall blade and the actual overall fuller i definitely love the way that that's done that was really the thing that just shot this knife off for me the reason that i actually spent 500 dollars on this thing is the back that channel right there i couldn't get that out of my head and the fact that it has carbon fiber inlays on the freaking blade i just couldn't couldn't get over it midnight cat and midnight cat studios 2018 see that there the tang pins are actually threaded it comes with complete replacement hardware total replacement hardware a really sick cardboard a really sick box which i don't actually have to show you it's in storage and a replacement tang pins it's got a full set of replacement tang pins they are threaded together through here so that's it's interesting i really like the aesthetic of how that's done as well because you notice the taper of these handles the fuller i guess so the i don't even know what that's called that little chamfer is the word that i'm looking for that the chamfer there is actually set at such an angle that it meets up perfectly with the top of the tang pin so you can see that tang pin is flush right with the edge of where that chamfer comes down and so it just looks really good i mean it looks excellently finished the way that it just sits flush mounted and they can do that with the threaded tang pin because it's actually threaded in there you know i mean you're not pounding it through one side isn't fatter than the other again i bring up the tachyon this is the way that all tachyons come out of the box you can see just the difference in the size of the tang pin there that's not something that you run into with the threaded design so i definitely appreciate it they haven't moved nothing in this thing has moved there has been some reported problem or problems with people having issues with the the inlays falling out you know just the glue didn't hold something like that i haven't had any issues i haven't necessarily beat this thing you know what i mean i haven't been nice to it i definitely haven't babied it 
I'm not the only one that's flipped it, you know what I mean? And so it's been through its paces. It's it's done its paces. It definitely hasn't been abused, but I haven't actually had any problems with any of that. So I, I love this knife. I love this knife. It's just so dope. Look at how sick that blade is. That's a mean blade shape right there. It's it's actually, it's good for use, you know what I mean? And it looks good, and as well, it's just, that's a good fighting blade. You know I mean, that's going to sink into material. There's not a whole lot of width. You've got a decent fuller, and it's got a decent edge on it. You know what I mean? There's, it's relatively steep, but you run into that with such a narrow blade profile. And so it's just a sick knife, because that I definitely... I like this thing all around. Everything about it. It feels like it's on ball bearings, however. If you're not a fan of ball bearings, listen. You hear that? That's just little dings and little dents. Because you can actually see in there, there's that little steel washer right there, right? That's what's butted up against the barrel ball bearings themselves and the actual titanium channel and the actual titanium handle itself, excuse me. And so when you drop it, right, there's a lot of, it's not a lot of weight here, but to be moving through the air, gathering momentum, and then coming down and hitting the ground directly like this, all of that energy is transferred up through this handle and directly into that pivot, into those little washers sitting on those ball bearings. So every time you drop this knife on any of these handles, any of the edges or the blade, all of that weight is smacking down. All of that weight is being absorbed by those ball bearings, and you get little dents, and you get little imperfections in the actual, those, those steel races, right? And so you get stuff like that that's current with i mean that's consistent with every every ball bearing driven ballet song that i've ever had except for the with exclusion of the benchmade 87 this thing has been through a lot i've beat the crap out of this knife listen nothing Watch my video, Benchmade 87 Pivot Assembly, if you're curious on how this thing is set up. It is not set up like any traditional Channel Valley song, actually, any other, any others out there. The system that's actually in here is what lends itself to being able to do that. It's not running on the same system as these washers, so check out that video if you're interested. But, yeah, that just runs consistent with the, ballet, the bearings and ballet songs. And the, as tight as it is, right, as tight as these tolerances are, there's... No, I didn't tighten that down. I barely tightened that screw down. Hold on one second, actually. Yeah, I want to actually demonstrate this. So I'm going to pull out my little parts kit, right? If I can actually... I can entirely take this screw out. You can see that? I'm not going to actually remove it. But it is entirely disengaged. And here's the handle plate solid nothing it doesn't even move and that's with that screw entirely loose right i can take it out the pivot is actually almost all the way out i've pushed the screw through the other side you see that still no handle play that's tolerances that's because the channel itself has been milled out to basically be the exact same size as the blade those ball bearings and those those washers and so i've got no tension no tension on it. I mean, I just put that screw in to the point where it's flush and then leave it there. I don't do any, no Loctite, nothing. It just, just sits in there like that. And there's so little play and there's so little resistance in it that I don't have any issues with the screws coming out. I don't have any issues with them actually moving, but it's freaking flies. This thing definitely moves through the air really fast. And so it just... It's fast, it's light, it's got carbon fiber all over it. This thing is dope as hell. That's it. Y'all have a good one.